How to use Canva When you first see all of Canva's tools and functions, it can be a little scary to utilize them to design your logo, poster, card, graphic, or other visual content. We'll go through Canva's features and how to use them so you can get the most out of this feature-rich graphic creation tool. What can be created with Canva? You may create any such type of image using Canva, either from scratch or by using a helpful template. It is suitable for organizations, small businesses, and individual endeavors. You can create on Canva logos, presentations, posters and flyers, labels, invitations and greeting cards, gift certificates, wallpapers and much more. How to use the Canva site First of all open any browser. Write on the address bar canva.com and press enter. You will see a home page of the site and in the top right you will see a login or a sign up button. To get started you will need a new account. I will sign into Canva with Google but you can sign up using the button from the site. I will confirm that I want to sign into Canva. Select for what you will be using Canva. You can start a free trial to try Canva Pro. You can use Canva for free as well but with Pro you will have more pictures, templates and also some effects will only be available for the Pro subscription. I will select maybe later. You can also subscribe to their email notifications. How can we use the home screen? Your most recent designs will be shown right on the homepage for quick and simple access. Recent designs, your projects, shared with you, and trash are all located on the left. This makes it simple for you to access an ongoing project or view a recent one. Use the search bar at the top, choose a category below it, or click create a design in the upper right to choose an item to start something new. When you are ready to get started, decide what kind of object you want to make. A new browser tab opens with your workspace in it. Let's search for a YouTube thumbnail. Let's select a project and see how we can use the Canva design window. A new browser tab opens with Canva design window. Your workspace is set up so that the item you are making is on the right side and all of your tools are on the left in a collapsible area. The options for the tool you select from the far left will appear to your right. Templates. Look through templates related to the item you choose. Additionally, you can look for a template or filter the choices by color. Elements. You can add objects to your canvas called elements, such as lines and forms, images and pictures, tables, and grids. Upload. View the photos, movies, or audio files you've uploaded, or click Upload Media to add new content. Text. Add a heading, a subheading, or body text to the text. The preformatted font combinations are also available. More. This contains tools for integrating content from websites like Jiffy, Pixabay, or YouTube, as well as other extras like styles and charts, the chance to create something new like a character or QR code. Additionally, you may upload files from services like Facebook, Box, and Dropbox. Any element you see with a crown in the lower left corner, such as a template or font combination, is a Canva Pro feature and you will not be able to use it if you have a free Canva account. Use the slider to zoom in or out. Click the grid icon to use grid view, or use the arrows to present in full screen mode. All of these options are located on the bottom right of the screen. To access the help topics, click the question mark as well. It doesn't take long to get used to Canvas features and possibilities for making your item, although it isn't a very simple tool. So let's go over how to create a YouTube thumbnail. You'll observe the same fundamental principles even though the choices and components for your project may differ and you can complete the phases in any other sequence if you'd like. So first what you need to do is from the home page, use the categories, create a design, or search buttons to find the item you want to create. Select if you want to use a template when your item opens in a new browser tab. When you move your cursor over the canvas when using a template, you'll see the elements you can alter. For instance, by selecting the text and entering your own, you can alter the text that appears inside the box. You can also start from scratch with a canvas that is entirely empty to build your item. To add objects like graphics, stickers, symbols, or shapes choose elements. Either click or drag and drop the item onto the canvas to position it there. You might alter, trim, flip, or animate an image, for instance. Choose text to insert a text box with a header, subheading, or body using one of the styles at the top. After that, enter your text in the box. Change the font style, size, or color with the format tools at the top. Additionally, you can animate the text, change the spacing, or add bullets. 
To turn or move the text box, click the rotate icon or move handle beneath the box. Select the element you want to delete by clicking the trash can icon in the top right corner. Click the undo button on the top left to undo your most recent action. Click the redo button in the top left to undo your most recent activity. Every modification you make is automatically stored. By default, all things are saved as untitled design. The untitled design text box at the top or the file button on the top left can both be clicked, then a new name can be added. To export a file click share button in the top right corner of the page. Click download. Now you can select the file type. If the background is transparent and other things like size, choose what is best suited for you. Now click download to save the file on your PC. A new file is saved. You have now saved a file created on Canva. Please remember that you can create any design in the upper right corner by clicking create a design. This are the main functions on Canva site. I have showed you only a small part of this site now go create an account and test it yourself. Thank you for watching this. If this was useful, please like share and subscribe. You can watch more videos from the right. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.